Hope everybody's having a great day. Uh, we're just going to leave it just like this because I don't want to uh, mess with anything. I just want to keep it all normal and hopefully everything works out great. <laughs> it's supposed to be another psychological horror. Now, recently we just finished uh, Martha's Dead. See right here, as you can see at the bottom, it uh, advertises Martha's Dead. Um, well, the last time when I finished Martha's Dead, uh, one of the viewers... Uh, suggests I play this one so that's what we're doing right now um look through the options here we'll try to leave it as is for now to see if it'll how it runs just like this and we'll adjust to that later um yeah by the way Martha's dead was um super good yo Gavin what's up buddy thank you so much for happening in <laughs> Martha Day was super good, and uh, but it was like sad and just so many twists and turns. It was ridiculous. All right, let's go ahead and hop in. Hopefully, this will uh, won't have any issues. <clears throat> Hello, motherfucker. <laughs> Thank you for redeeming there, Gavin. What's happened? I think this is like before is Martha's dead. Maybe. This is another psychological horror, so it should be interesting. Maybe I am dead. I can't get up. What's going on? What's happening to me? And when it starts out crazy. There's no one here, but these noises. Uh, I'm pretty sure we're in a, uh, My head is a psychiatric hospital or something like that of sorts. Reality fades away and my skin is gone. Every breath of wind is excruciatingly painful. That's not good. But yes, thank you. Thank you, Gavin, for hopping in. I do appreciate it. Uh, it's so cool that we're watching a movie right now, but I'm just stopping by. I hope you appreciate it, man. Thanks, man. Thanks. Thanks. Absolutely. I appreciate you. Either way, I hope your movie is, uh, is good. Are we waiting patiently? There we go. Come on. <laughs> I couldn't decide what I wanted to stream today, so I was kind of going back and forth. So inspired by real events. Oof. It's one of those horror games where horror movies, when it's real, it makes it that much intense. Okay, so where is what we're doing? Okay, map. Nothing. Okay, let's go. We'll just start up, uh, open and close. Okay. Basically, it's just a little. Our right, deuces, dear deuces. Let's open this little bobber up. Gives you that same Mother's Dead feel, though, to it. Bottle flashlight, okay. Uh, okay, yeah, it's the radio. Fantastic, we figured that out. Uh, doesn't look like it's uh, nothing good to eat in here. Okay, let's just say that this one is good to go. This room, oh, we got a little lag there. We might need to bring her on down the graphics, I guess. Hmm. Let's go. We'll see what's over here first, I guess. Yeah, we can't go that way, so. That leaves the playground, air to explore, and back this way. Okay, I don't see anything eventful in the playground. Oh, we can get in the swing. What? Okay, that's enough of that. How do we get off the swing? We can't get off the swing. Oh, Jesus. 
messed up. How do we get off of the swing? <laughs> no. Oh man, this ain't good. We get off the swing. There we go, we got off. We can sit apparently. We won't do that because I'm afraid to that we won't get up. Not quite sure what to expect in this game because I didn't really look into it. I just kind of went with the flow. Uh, okay. I hope we can figure out what we're supposed to be doing soon. Like there's might be a way to get in. I don't know. Our trees. Can't crouch. I don't know the crouch, but that seems like our way in. Let's see, let's go look at our key bindings. Maybe that'll help us out. They want to cheat and just kind of. Where is our key bindings? No. Okay, I don't see key bindings. That's uh, that's fantastic. All right. I guess we will try to figure this out. Okay, maybe we're not supposed to go in that way. Okay, here we go. We've got an opening here. I'm not sure exactly what we're looking for because it doesn't give you like any objectives or any of that sort. That's yeah, so enough of that. I think we kind of looked over there and scanned that area. Okay, we just need to find a way over here, I'm assuming. Uh. Yeah. That's the way we came from. So they got about this straight ahead. For opening we can do right here. Okay, no, there's not. Uh, that is quite odd. Um I'll make sure I didn't miss anything over here. I hate to come back the same way, but there's got to maybe there's an opening over here that we overlooked. Like this. Is there, can we move this out the way? Apparently not. Um, and we can't grab this. Okay, well. Um, I'm assuming we need to get over to that building over here. We need to find a way. Uh, I don't think the slide's going to help us so much. Bypass that. Uh, maybe we... Maybe there's a way across this fence. I don't, uh, can we pick that? Okay, so far we can't pick up anything. Why, why is that? Okay, this might be a little frustrating until we get the flow of this thing. Ah, uh, there we go. That was, okay. <laughs> Wire production. So wire productions did make Martha's dead. So uh, that's good. That was such a good game. It was weird, but good. Uh, 
I still will fly up in the air. Martha's Day gave you a little more of objectives to, to uh, actually obtain. Alright, looks like we're in the uh, brink of things. Our flashlight's acting crazy. Okay, I'm not sure exactly what we should be doing, but I think that's probably part of the actual game. Just to figure it out on your own. Okay, that might be a cue to actually start looking for a doll. I will look. Let's try to look really good in this. Oh, no, she's freezing. She's alone. Let's look for her. Okay. Okay, we shall. Um. I'm not sure where this doll is. I'm pretty sure it's not going to be like just out in the open, so we need to. Scavenge the area. I think we looked in there pretty good. Mm, can't really mess with that. Okay, I didn't see it. And I think we looked across from here. Let's look at these doors. Cabinets, if you will. Oop. What's this? Um... Uh... Francesca. Okay. Open this one. Okay, so no doll right here. This dude. <laughs> I, I don't know why. I just thought I would be... There's no way that it had power, but... Um, I don't see the doll in this room. Uh, okay. Oh, this is going to be another one of those puzzles games that's going to drive me nuts. Okay, so maybe we'll be able to turn lights on. Okay, we can't open that yet. I think that's just uh, just waiting for another thing to accomplish. Mm, let's see if we can do the lights here. See that fixes it. Hmm, negative. All right, so that means let's look back here. See if this will work. Okay, there we go. Hmm. Okay, it's a picture of something. And another picture. Cool. Fantastic. Um, let me try something. Something just popped on my screen. I can't get it to go away for the life of me. <laughs> Let's oh. search the wards on the upper floor. There's a plan on the wall which shows their location. Okay. Ooh, that actually works. I'm surprised. I wonder if we should risk it. It's a little too late. Let's go for it. That does not work the door open. Okay. Well, how do we close the door here? Here we go. Nice. Well, Alright, we got something going. We got, we definitely got something. This is indeed the uh, 
I guess the uh, second floor here. That's locked. Okay, cool, cool. And uh, that's locked too. Right, this is the only room. There's a doll right there. Boom. We got our first little objective. Care of Charlotte. She took her in, hugged her, gave her cuddles and kisses. She was very affectionate and loving. Nothing bad happened to Charlotte. That surprised me. I didn't understand. At first, I was quite scared. I was afraid that she wanted to hurt me. I lived in constant fear that Mom would abandon her. Because I didn't deserve to live. I didn't deserve to be loved. Okay. Uh, what do we need? Add uh, to Sinosa's menu, okay. It's cold and it's dark. Look, she's cold. She'll get ill. We can take care of her. Nobody can stop us. Charlotte is a good girl. Wait, uh, okay, it's J to access. Uh, let's see, experience. Okay, this is like a log, I guess. Go back here and memories. Oh, it reaccesses her memories. Okay. Oops. She was very affectionate and loving. Nothing bad happened to Charlotte, and that surprised me. I didn't understand. Alright, she's cold and ill, I guess, but... I was quite scared. I was afraid that she wanted to hurt me. I lived in constant fear that Mom would abandon her. Get right back. Okay. Uh, medical records. Uh, we got a diary here. Okay, we'll close that for now. No documents for medical record. Okay. Let's get back to the actual game. Okay, so. I'm not sure what we're supposed to do with this, uh, creepy doll. Clearly, it's seen better days. He doesn't want to. Not Charlotte. Okay, we can't obviously go down there. Okay, so do we, let's ex I think we looked here, but we didn't explore all this stuff. I'm pretty sure, ooh. Those lamps could make the room warmer, but Charlotte's not happy. She doesn't feel well. Okay, so that was weird. I'm not gonna lie. Very creepy. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, I don't see anything we could possibly use yet. Well, maybe let's keep going. Let's keep. I'm assuming we can't go here either because uh, we already yeah we already did that. Let's go ahead back downstairs and see if we can go to one of the doors, the big doors. Oh, where's downstairs? Bingo. Use the stairs this time. Get our steps in. Um, I think we should go to the right. He'll get angry. I know he'll get angry. Okay, so clearly we're not supposed to go to that door, and we're not supposed to go to this door either. He doesn't want to. No. In the town of light, he doesn't want to. That's locked, of course. Okay. So our options are what? Back this way, I think. That seems really odd. I 
I saw a wheelchair on the ground floor. It's comfortable there, and we can put Charlotte somewhere warm. Okay. So at least it gives us a little hint of what we need to be doing. Laura, right, let's find that wheelchair. I think there's somewhere. There it is, wheelchair right there. Bingo. Thank you for the tip. I appreciate it. Charlotte will be comfy here. But it's cold. No, no, it's cold. Don't shiver, Charlotte. The cold will go away. It'll go away. Right, leave the wheelchair. Okay, we got the wheelchair and... I wonder what we... So we can leave the wheelchair just like that. Charlotte is cold. Let's take her somewhere warm. Ah, okay, I got it now. Let's go to the elevator. And then, um... Where the... I guess those lamps upstairs. Leave this and uh, we'll call the elevator. And then hit, uh, go up. Fantastic. Now we're starting to we're starting to get somewhere. Alright, let's get the uh, let's get this doll here. Alright, good thing we fit. Alright, upstairs. Bingo. We're getting it. We're we're doing some stuff. We're doing good things here. We got to open the door first. Uh -huh. All right, now let's go. Uh, okay, now we just gotta remember where exactly. Yep. It's this way. Could be uh wrong though. The cold has gone away now. Yes, there we go. You see? The light, the warmth. We can do it. The cold will go away. It has to. What if it where she gets now burnt? We can enter the ward where everything started. Receive help. Okay. It all began in the observation ward on the ground floor. I guess I'm assuming we just leave the doll there. On the ground floor of the ward. Okay. So let's go ahead and uh, close that. We'll use the stairs again. Yeah, I definitely hear that noise. Now, there we go. We're in it. Okay, yeah, that's a good sign there. Oh, we can't, uh, yeah, we can't go anywhere but straight. Hmm. We have to go straight. We can't go backwards, so. Whoa, okay. That was pretty trippy. For, but <laughs> oh, 
it's probably going to do it again. Check this out. Okay, I'm going to lie. That's really cool. trying to get there but we're going super slow a blinding merciless light I was 16 years old and I was afraid always afraid a fear that wore me down come on I needed help but I couldn't speak I was terrified of everything even thinking They said they were taking me to a place where the fear would go away, where I would get better. I stopped living in there. Oh, jeez. They dragged me away and stripped off all my clothes, everything. I tried to explain what was going on in my head. They tied me to the bed for days. I was alone with my nightmares. It wasn't fear anymore. It was madness. Wow. And when you're mad, you cease to exist. And this is pretty nuts, I ain't gonna lie. She was my only hope in this hell. I was descending down, down among the damned. But that woman and her smile kept me alive. Wow. This is a, uh, it's really getting up there, starting to pick up. Damn, we're already chapter three. The door is locked from the outside. Here, the doors can only be locked and unlocked from the outside. Okay, so I'm assuming we gotta figure this out. Okay. What? I just took off and we can't run. Now we can. That's locked. I, I think they're. Locked, of course, locked. You can't get out of here. Only the dead can leave this place. Okay, so we can. our only option is to go this way. That's where I kind of heard the footsteps go. I just wanted to be sure. Yep, yep, locked. Let's talk about our flashlight. I forgot we had a flashlight. Okay, locked. Pull this door first. Let's see. Here's the doll. It's a different doll though, I'm pretty sure. Okay, this is a little messed up. It does give you that, uh, I'm pretty sure this came out before Man of, uh, before uh, Martha's dead, but I can see where it ties in almost, or similar to it, very similar. Oh, oh do we have to move? Oh, we do move. I was sitting there looking like an idiot. Oh, 
Okay, these they look like they're in bad shape. Let's go ahead and try to. Whoa, that's a cool effect. I like it. We gotta follow him, I guess. We can't. What? I have no idea where we're supposed to go, though, but... Let's keep going this way for now until we figure it out. I'm guessing we, did, we went the right way. He laughed, panted, and slobbered all over me. It hurt me when he touched me. I thought I'd suddenly split up. Oof. It's probably not a good scene, guys. Sorry about that. Shattered into pieces. I felt fragile, sick, dirty, degraded. All I could do was clutch Charlotte tightly while he... Renee obeyed. He was the master in the realm of light. I was being consumed by the evil act I had committed. I threw up and could feel hell getting closer and closer. Those tests the doctors did to me. They said there was something growing inside and they wanted to drag it out of me. Oof. Okay, yeah, this is twisted like the other one, but uh, experience, let's go back there through obedience, okay, we already know that, and memories okay, we did that alright, let's we're in chapter 4 now, okay oh gosh, I think we should go this way let's, let's do our flashlight ooh Okay, you know, kind of gives me that. Uh, I don't know if you guys seen that movie, but it was a very low budget movie. But uh, Grave Encounters, it just gives you that little feel. Actually, it was really good. Um, if you like that type of stuff, like horror and um, paranormal type of films. I guess we go this way. You can't open those doors. Okay. Okay, uh, I don't see anything of value there. That doll is gone. Definitely didn't. I don't think we grabbed a doll. All right, let's keep uh, keep trucking here. I can't open those. I don't see, I don't, wouldn't think there's anything of these in here, but. Alright, so let's double check it. What's this? Uh, I forgot what we we're supposed to be looking Diary, okay. Um, H so text. There we go. Of course, these are blank. Let's skip. Can we skip over this? Okay, I'm assuming we just need to keep adding this stuff. I'm right. Not too bad. Not too bad. All right, we're slowly getting everything together. It's coming together a little bit. And. Okay, we're looking. I'm sure what we're looking for, but I'm assuming uh, we're gonna look for another doll back there. Okay. 
guess the whole concept of this game is the doll. I don't want to see anyone. She stayed with Renee during those terrible medical examinations, and that gave her the strength to survive. All right, we're indeed going the right way. Okay. Locked. I'm assuming we're not going to leave this place till we uh, figure out what we need to figure out. Okay, Irene E. Uh, okay, 26 years. Woman in the state of great reputation. She curses her three year old daughter for having ruined her life. She wanted to take us away, that damn kid. Wanted to kill us. She's the devil, I tell you. She's the devil herself. She destroyed my ability to give life. She left her sister in silence. Silence is scary. The mother explains that her husband, Eric, Hey, worried about her daughter, called a doctor who, noticing the state of the woman and the potential danger to her daughter, urgently initiated the procedure for admission. The woman was admitted to observation in the single room, but not because she was dangerous, but in the view of her social class, it seemed the most appropriate choice. The mother has provided a generous donation to this institution in order to find a more suitable accommodation for her daughter. Okay, we got all kinds of classes in here. Oh, is I'm trying to. Got to be something we're missing. Pictures. Okay, we skim to that. Hospital administration inventory. Okay. Uh -huh. I think we're good in this room. This is the way we came from, I believe. Yep. Okay. Um, we're... I don't know how we ended up here. That's weird. Uh, let's go back this way. I know. Okay, it's locked. We may have to actually go back upstairs and look. Um. Just keep trucking. So can... yeah, I'm pretty sure this is locked. Yep. Okay. Cool. Wanted to double check. And let's go back upstairs and then try to figure this out. I'm and see out of curiosity where if the doll is still up there or not. Uh, I think we left the doll back here. Doll's still there, okay. Locked. They went to the gynecology ward on the upper floor. Okay. Gynecology. We pressed uh, H for the hints because I was a little confused. Gynecology. Get here. Okay. August 21st, 1938. Confidential. Dear A, I know what you think about these things, so I'm referring a patient to you, Renee T. This wretched girl got out of control and caused trouble in the grounds. She's almost three months pregnant. The nurses should be more alert. I'm examining the girl on the 28th. I'll handle things very carefully, don't worry. We don't want to make matters worse. Then they said that Renee was crazy and that the illness was all in her head. Careful, little girl, careful. I was scared, and I didn't talk to anyone about the illness. Only her. Not even the other doctor. He never touched Renee. He just wrote things down. You can tell me everything. Don't be afraid, he said. Everything's going to be fine. Wow, okay. Do you want to know what I'm writing? I note down what I observe in you, everything I see. He didn't hate Renee. He tried to help her, 
but he rarely examined her in those small surgeries. Okay. For chapter five. Nice. Okay, we're moving along nicely here. Um. Okay, let's have a the doctor who wrote things down was in surgery C. Surgery C. Okay, well we shall figure that out. Okay, those are obviously not surgery. Where is surgery C then? Uh, radiology. I wonder if it's downstairs. Um, let's look at this map here. I doubt that it says anything of value. Probably just a, uh... Ah, there we go. Perfect. Um, surgeries. I'm assuming sh straight ahead. That's the elevator, so... That can't be surgery. Well, I guess so. March 12th, 1938. Renee T. 16 years old. Menstruation at age 12. Housewife. Father unknown. Mother a seamstress. Admitted an observation yesterday morning from Pontedera, accompanied by a police officer authorized by the examining magistrate of the Court of Pisa to be admitted for a psychiatric evaluation, which I have carried out. Medical certificate. Mental illness preceded by warning signs. Has suffered from depression for a year, believing she had tuberculosis. Food deprivation. We can't read this document. It is forbidden. We mustn't. If they find out, there will be trouble. Uh, let's see. No, we can't. Uh, it talks about Renee. Let's see. Let's go with A, I guess. Let's read it. Have you ever wondered who you are? Yes, of course you've wondered. Oof. I never had children. I don't. <sighs> Let's read it. I must understand. I must remember. I guess we messed up that. She is frightened, hears noises and ghosts, presents serious signs of anxiety, psychosis, suffers from hallucinations. She is anxious, confused, her expression is distressed, a questioning look as if terrified, disoriented. She feels confused, hears voices shouting in her head. She doesn't understand things properly. She has been feeling unwell for two or three months. When questioned, she replies, My mother wants to hurt me. I am always scared of her. She chases me. Why are you here? I argued with my mother and was so upset that I felt like my head was spinning. There was a woman there who wanted to force me into a life of prostitution. They wanted to condemn me to be burned at the stake. Children whispered, called my name. March 16th. She Pretty messed up. Last night. They wanted to condemn her to be burned at the stake. April 4th. Transferred to the calm ward, still under my supervision. Yes, that's true. The ward where Amara was. Yes, the stake. The children wanted to burn Renee. <laughs> She had to pay for what she'd done, like witches, at the stake. Oh, okay. April 21st. Not sure the significance of those <laughs> marks. Complains of headaches. She became agitated when she found out her mother was there. She says that one day, many years earlier, she was with a friend of hers 
and met a man who made her get into a car and took her for a ride. He made her smoke cigarettes and drink liquor, and the man showed her certain things. He tried to hurt her and made her go crazy. She says he promised to marry her and made her swear to keep what had happened a secret. These facts were essentially confirmed by her mother. After that, she became arrogant and patient and hostile towards her family, especially her mother. She started taking off her clothes in public. Her moods would swing from laughter to tears. She rants. She pleasures herself. I can't remember these things. Only the guilt, the stake. I know I deserved to pay for that guilt. I knew it even then. Hmm. Let's look the rest of the clear dark Yeah, I think we got that one right. <laughs> she was uncooperative during the examination. She didn't want to be stripped and her body remained rigid. Voluntary attention almost totally absent. Probable hallucinations. April 25th. Confused ideas. Unable to maintain a spontaneous conversation. Reflex is all normal. Reactive pupils. Let's find Amara. And we'll find the full medical records. All right. Quite interesting. Yeah, this is going to be pretty weird. It's a little twisted, like a uh, monster is dead, though. Definitely. I'll the eight. grounds at the back of the hospital. And then down to the kitchens. Back at the hospital. Down. Okay, so we need to find kitchen. I think we do have that. Let's just use that map. Uh, I'm gonna say we're gonna need to go downstairs. Safest bet. And then. I don't think we're supposed to go this way yet, but oh, okay. I want to say kitchen is all right. It seems fairly obvious now that it needs to go this way. <laughs> Here, I guess. This is the road we used to take. Hmm. If it weren't for her, in the grounds on that bench in spring, so many days. It was an escape, watching nature around us as she talked and sang. And then there were the kitchens. Sometimes we stole food and ran back to the bench to eat it in secret. And we laughed. She did things to me. Sometimes she touched me. In the shower, I felt her body against mine for the first time. It was a shiver that warmed my soul. Eyes closed. The light slipped away. Okay, very, uh... Yeah. She wasn't in the system. He wouldn't let her in. That's it. She must be the key. The key to my memories. To the reasons why. Looks like something was here. We're in chapter six now. All right. Uh, okay, it's not this way then. Let's go back this way and then straight ahead. See if we can. Um, we're looking for the kitchen, I believe. Nature helped me to forget 
to escape from the system. Alright, yeah, that's just a... Uh, I really just need to go down over here. scent of spring. The land of light was far away, and we spent the days chatting on the stone benches. Oh, there's other. We can't. <laughs> I guess I wasn't supposed to go down here. <laughs> Let's see if we can get back down. Uh, of course, we gotta go all the way back. I don't know what possessed me to go up here. At least now we know. But now I gotta go all the way back around. Such a... I'm not sure what to make of this game as of yet, but... It does uh, have this darkness to it. Park bench. There's that little piece right here. Got two of eight. So we're we're definitely making some progress. I'm assuming everything gets the, uh, hope it's auto update, <laughs> auto save and stuff. Uh, this is the green, another greenhouse. Okay, I'm assuming there's something in here that we need to get. Okay. Mm, keep looking. No, I don't see any letter or any of that piece of something. Alright, we just did two laps around there. I think we're good. I think. Uh, looks like we're going straight ahead into the kitchen. This is where the kitchen's at. Okay. Fantastic. Um. Okay, we're not supposed Come on. To... Come on, let's look everywhere. She must be here, I'm certain. Oh man, that's pretty creepy. Okay. Apparently we're supposed to look everywhere, but we can't look in there. I'm not sure exactly what we're looking for. Uh, we looked in here. Um, Keep looking. We mustn't give up. I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. I think we need to go through this door, though. Maybe that'll help. Okay, let's go this way. And I just don't know what we're looking for, but we did find a piece of something. Three out of eight. Where could she be? We've got to talk to her. Everything will be all right. But being here now, I don't like it. Come on, let's look for her quickly. I'm, tr I'm trying. I am giving it a good effort. We can't stay in here too long. They'll find us. When mm. they found us, 
Come on, hurry. We've got to find her quickly. Adele. Oops. Is that out? I don't even know. I think. Lost in her dreams. She was only a little girl. But nobody gave her a cuddle. They punished her instead. They said she was sick and her dreams were troubling her. They weren't even hers anymore. I need her. But we will find her. We'll find her, won't we? When the water in the shower was cold, we ran away. But when it was hot, then she came to Renee under that cruel white light. I can still feel the shivers her body gave me. Everything must return to how it was. If we recreate that magic, she'll come to us. Okay, we can't click on that. I guess we weren't supposed to do that or something. I'm not sure. Alright. I don't I think that's I don't see anything in there. Uh And where I looked in here. And here. Okay, so now we just need to possibly look down. And... Uh, yeah, that area is where we need to look at. Right, yeah. Hmm. I'm not sure. Let's go. Hey, yo, BNW, what's up, buddy? Thank you so much for hopping in. How are you? I'm not sure what we're what we're supposed to be doing up that. Run. <laughs> yo, thank you. Thank you for that rain, redeem BMW. We're supposed to. I'm assuming. I'm glad to hear you're doing well. I was pressing it. Turn the water on in the showers and switch the boiler on. All the plumbing systems were in the kitchen area. Okay. Um, this is playing Town of Light, which is similar to uh, Martha's Dead, which I completed not too long ago. It was really messed up. Uh, uh, so far, this one's kind of twisted a little bit. I'm not sure what we're doing. I'm assuming we... We're supposed to be in the kitchen, which we are currently in the kitchen, so yeah. Found this really cool organic look at tea. Oh nice dude. I have had I didn't haven't drink I'm not the biggest fan of tea, but some teas are pretty nice. Like green tea and stuff is not too bad. Oh wait. Supposed to go in this? No, okay. And we can't go here. Where is the water? Um, okay. What was that? I don't know. <laughs> it's a mink cover. They have a bunch of different flavors. Oh, that's pretty cool, dude. Um, is this... Uh, red to mango and raspberry. Oh, dang. That does sound pretty good. 
I think this is the showers, but where's the, where do we turn? Yo, Brick, thank you so much for that redeem. Hope you're doing well. Okay, here's the pipes. Here we go. I don't know why it took me so long to figure that out. Okay, we got. Oh. Now everything is ready. We can go to the bathrooms. We can go along that narrow corridor in the kitchens. We'll meet oh. her in the showers, yes. And just a warning, guys, this is pretty messed up, though. But I think Martha's dad was pretty messed up, too. But it was good. Okay, so we meet her in the sh shower. I don't think this is it. Where is the shower? Uh, no. I'm I'm so lost right now. <laughs> Let him shine. This is this is shower. No, shower. It's just a room. Um, okay. Let's figure this out. It's the boiler room. Okay. And... Uh, please don't tell me how to go all the way back from the other spot. That would be terrible. Let's see if we can... Now everything is ready. We can go to the bathrooms. We can go along oh. that narrow corridor in the kitchens. We'll meet her in the showers, yes. Narrow corridor in the kitchen. Oh wait, I think I know what you're talking about. Uh, probably, yep, right here. I'm not sure what to expect, guys, so I do apologize in advance. <laughs> wait, what? Confused here. It said, yeah. Okay, there we go. She gotta adjust it right. Okay. I think there's a map up here that we're definitely gonna need. I have no idea where we need to be going. I think this is the beginning. This is where we started from. Okay. Map. Bingo. Here we go. Uh. Hmm. Oh, so it. What? Doesn't really tell you like bathrooms, but I guess eleven and twelve. Let me see. Where's That way. Okay, let's try. The lookout right there. Not in this ward. Not in observation, remember? Let's go to the calm ward. Oh. Okay. Calm ward. That does not help. Thanks, though. This is not it. Nope. We're getting there. Maybe. I hope. Nope. So many doors here. I think that's not it. Not it either. Uh, this looks like it's going to be it. I'm judging by the tiles and such. In the bathroom. Everything's ready. Let's get undressed and leave our clothes on the hooks in the changing rooms. Okay. I don't know 
what to expect, guys. I never played this game, so. Ooh. Let's turn the water on now, and everything will be as before. Okay. Turn the water on. How? We're, uh. Ah, maybe right here. Oh, Lord. Ah, oh, sorry guys. There she is. Okay. Maybe this isn't the best uh, game to stream on this one, but we'll have to. I keep that in mind now. Now that I know. Amara was everything I could have been, but she no longer exists. <sighs> I'd have loved to erase everything I did, but instead I always went ahead and did it again. It was it's getting late. And she disappeared from my life. I think once we get it loaded up, we're going to probably end the stream here in a bit. So that's why I can try to get some, some sleep. Oh, it is loading now. So I mean, it's hopefully we hit a checkpoint. There, which made your body and soul tremble violently. A whirlwind of anguish and unbearable pain. Crazy game. <laughs> 